Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw. How are you today? This is Saturday, July the 11th. And uh, I wanna show you what's for lunch today. Ta-da! On the bottom, <clears throat> I have two bananas. I have some cashew cream that I made and then a peach, a little bit of cashew cream and some cherries. This is what I ate. Um, for breakfast, I had some culture jicama with some of the cashew cream. So I've never made cashew cream before, um, but I did discover it yesterday because I was looking for something to dip my cultured jicama sticks in. And the cultured jicama is really great. I have the recipe. I believe I have the recipe for it, but it has a little, it's a little tangy, it has, it's also got orange juice in it. So I wanted something creamy to dip it in. So I found this cashew cream sauce. So it basically it's a cup and a half of raw organic cashews. Um, I think I used about 10 medjool dates and I squeezed an orange into it. Whipped it up in the um, blender. I added a scoop of, um, the Puridime probiotic, the, can't remember what it's called right now, added a scoop of that and left it out in the counter to culture. And it, it pre-digests everything for you. So when you're eating it, it's got all the enzymes that to digest it, plus it's already been working on digesting it for a couple hours. So that's lunch. I taught a class at my studio today, a fermented foods class, where I taught, I had five, um, students sign up and I taught them how to make the cultured jicama uh, beet kvass and we made apple orange sauerkraut so got them going on getting really healthy intestinal health and they were all really excited about it um, fermented foods I read yesterday that fermented foods actually have more enzymes in them than raw food does fermented or cultured foods are actually the only way you can actually process food that increases the the um, nutritional density of it every way else that you process food cooking broiling baking barbecuing um, however other way canning it all it all declines the nutritional value of the food but but culturing the food is actually the only way that you can increase the nutritional value of food. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's really great. So I'm going to eat this and then I will be back with you for dinner and see what we have. Bye guys. So it's dinner time and I'm going to make myself a um, coleslaw with um, a, what would I call it, Jade? A, a, Asian dressing? Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> An Asian dressing. And so I'm being a really good girl and I'm making my own dressing. It isn't a whole food dressing, meaning it has oils in it. And um, whole food dressings just have vegetables in it so but it is still my own dressing better than out of a bottle so i'm going to use this shredded cabbage put it in a bowl with some tomatoes from the garden and i discovered these are so so good sprouted watermelon seeds run go in on that jade from go raw they're sprouted so they're easier to digest they have a little bit of himalayan salt on them or Celtic salt. They're so good, you guys. I've had these in my cabinet for probably three months and not tried them. And you know what? They taste like they taste like pumpkin seeds, but they don't have the hull in them. The outer shell, really, really good. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on my salad with the tomatoes. But my dressing, I have in here um, a quarter of a cup of Nama shoyu. Let me get it. <laughs> okay. So shoyu is an organic unpasteurized soy sauce. 
and this is a good brand so I, ha I actually couldn't find this where I live I had to go to um, a Whole Foods in Dallas and get it when I was there um, I'm putting in two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil and it is organic I'm putting in a tablespoon of red pepper flakes approximately a tablespoon I'm putting in honey if you don't like honey you could use dates or um, what else you could use instead of dates yeah I guess you could use your dates uh, raisins yeah, maybe some raisins whatever is your preference for sweetness so I'm putting in half a cup of honey it's about a half a cup right there and I love this honey it is uh, bee friendly and it's a natural raw honey very very good it's truly just like candy mm. i'm putting in a clove of garlic but i gotta get it really big clove of garlic. It means it'll be extra good. <laughs> I don't think that I want all that garlicky goodness. So I'm going to put in half. More garlic the better. You think so, Jade? Always. <laughs> and then I have the ginger. I'm going to grate into it. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to blend it up. I'm going to add a half a cup of water. Sorry, I don't have all my ingredients right here with me. Half a cup. And I'm going to add a scoop of tahini. So let's say a tablespoon of tahini. And it goes. And it is a raw tahini and it's raw organic. Okay, I'm gonna blend it up, I'll be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> that tastes really delicious to me. What I'm gonna add to it now is some, I'm gonna grate some ginger into it. And um, that'll give it a little bit of a gingery Thai flavor. And I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. have here sesame seeds I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sesame seeds measured <laughs> I'm gonna mix this up and give it a taste I'll be right back again but this you only want to like really stir it you don't want to really like break apart your sesame seeds you just want to stir it so it has some texture Okay. Smells like Asian, Asian dressing. Does it? Mm-hmm. Perfect. It's spicy, how I like it. It isn't thick like, um, like this Italian dressing I made the other day. <laughs> it's thick. Unfortunately, you guys, it, it's going in the trash. You know, it's just how it goes sometimes. Um, it's thin. It might be a little bit too watery when I measured the water. I might have put in a little bit too much. But, you know, you can work with that. I really don't mind a watery dressing. Um, so I'll prepare my food and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, it's all done. Doesn't that look pretty? Just got these new bowls. Jade and I spent the afternoon out shopping. Went to Walmart and Target. We went to Ulta. In fact, if you look really close, I have two different eyeshadows on because <laughs> we were testing out eyeshadows and blush and everything. I used about I used about a quarter of the dressing because I'm trying not to use a lot of it because see, you know, there is fat in here, and I already had my cashew cream sauce. 
at lunchtime, so I want to keep the rest of my day down in the fat. <clears throat> so I'm having this with some kombucha because I think with every meal that you eat, you should have something that's cultured. I had cultured um, jicama for breakfast with cultured cashew cream sauce. At lunch, I had that, the cultured cashew cream sauce. And I'm having some kombucha right now with this. And I've had beet kvass today as well. So getting, taking care of the tummy. When you take care of your tummy, it will take care of you. And so we're going to eat this right now. And um, that'll be my food for the day. So actually, this is kind of a small salad. Oh, and I wanted to say the only reason that I'm using the packaged cabbage from the grocery store is we had it here. I don't know why we had it here, but I would rather take the cabbage and put it in the food processor and grate it that way, but this has to get used up. So, bye guys.